Joining me now, New Jersey Democratic Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill. Congresswoman, a pleasure to have you on the show with me this morning. I'll talk about what's next for the Harris camp in just a moment, but I'd be remiss not to ask you what you thought of her performance last night. Wow, what a difference a debate makes. Um, I thought she was fantastic. This is hard work, and she put the work in, and she had hit it just right. Uh, her skills as a prosecutor really came through as someone who stood before a jury myself on numerous occasions. You could just see how she handled that debate. She owned that stage. And she came across to me as somebody who I want to see in front of world leaders. I want to see her negotiating on behalf of the United States of America, which to me stood in such sharp contrast with Donald Trump's performance last night, where he took the bait again and again and again. And let's talk about, you know, she talked about a lot of policies that she'd implement moving forward. Uh, you know, she reiterated she had all these plans to address a variety of economic issues from home prices to growing small businesses, the price of groceries, but largely stick to her talking points. Take a quick listen to this soundbite first. And I am actually the only person on this stage who has a plan that is about lifting up the middle class and working people of America. We know that we have a, a shortage of, of homes and housing, and the cost of housing is too expensive for far too many people. My passion, one of them, is small businesses. I was actually, my mother raised my sister and me, but there was a woman who helped raise us. We call her our second mother. She was a small business owner. I love our small businesses. So, Congresswoman, what do you say to critics who wonder, you know, who listened last night and said, okay, all these things sound great, but why haven't you implemented a lot of these when you've had the chance to for the last four years alongside President Biden? Yeah, I was really, uh, that clip was great because from New Jersey, the lifeblood of New Jersey is our small businesses. And I want to see more in entrepreneurship. I want to see more in investing in these small businesses. And the fact that she laid out that plan really spoke to me. And again, the contrast there where Donald Trump had no plan. He just wants to keep looking back. He just wants to double down. Yeah, on but have her hands been tied for the last four years? I mean, where, where has that been for the last four years? I think working hard to invest in the American people, making sure we pass things like the bipartisan infrastructure law, to invest in the nation's infrastructure, the Inflation Reduction Act, to invest in innovation. I mean, these are the opportunity investments that she is focused on to create the future. And I think again and again and again, we heard about that future. We heard about the opportunity economy. We heard about investing in things like small businesses and making sure that she was bringing down grocery prices. And again and again and again, we heard from Donald Trump doubling down on failed policies, planning to institute a tariff that would be a cost, a tax on American families to the tune of $4,000 per family, Tr you know, adding trillions of dollars to our nation's deficit. And when really asked to enunciate his plan, all Donald Trump could say was that he had a, a concept of a plan. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't sound like he has a plan for the future, and she does. And Congresswoman, let me ask you one more really quick question. I just have a few seconds left. Let's not now talk about moving forward for voters who, you know, they're done with last night. They want to now focus on November and the future. What does she need to do to move the needle specifically with undecided voters in just a few seconds? I think she needs to continue to talk about the investments in the future and how she's going to drive down costs for American families, as she did. I think she needs to continue to get out there in front of people, because when you see her, um, when you see her command of the issues, when you see her ability to fight for America and the opportunities that it represents, you know that she is going to be the commander in chief we need on the world scene, which again, when you contrast that with Donald Trump's failed policies and his continued desire to look to the past and raise costs on families, I think the choice becomes pretty clear. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.